Shalom, this is Amon Yud, Tag of Piscataway, Sophia Americana, the Americana Mariam, and we are here with a Happy New Year video and an update um, uh, on what's going on, what's happening, so that everybody can be on the same page with um, where we are moving forward on this channel. So, um, I did observe the New Year uh uh, or I did observe the sun change stations on Tuesday, which was, um, oh gosh, I should have had this a little bit more prepared. I observed it on Tuesday, which was, um, there we go, the 19th. Um, I did two observations in the same places I had done, um, last week on, um, on Monday or Tuesday. And, um, I just wanted to do this video because, um, I did actually notice that the sun did not change stations the way that it did last year. Um, last, well, I also took the measurements different last year because I just put a line at the end of the paper instead of drawing the whole line out so what I noticed this year is that um, because I drew the whole line out of the shadow of the um, the stick that I used to measure um, what happened this year was that I took the measurement at one time period like 1205 and it was long um, pretty much in the same place as the rest of them as far as the length is concerned but the actual second one that I did was much shorter. Um, so I was like, well, whoa, 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 how can it move this much in 15 minutes? So that was the indication to me that the sun was indeed changing stations. It did line up with the astronomical new year, which happened on um, the 19th at um, 11.06 and 30 seconds. Um, so it did, it definitely did line up with that. So we're taking the 19th as the last Sabbath because you watch for the sun to change stations so that you know when the Sabbaths are going to be for the upcoming year. And, um, this does come from the book of Enoch. And so, um, this is how, um, this is how we observe it. So being that Sabbaths are going to be on Tuesday this year, um, this is going to change uh, a little bit of what I had planned on doing. I'm going to do it in a slightly different, um, way than I had expected. So, um, we are, um, moving forward, um, going to be observing the Sabbath on Tuesday. Um, so the first day of the week is going to be Wednesday, which if you are born on Wednesday, this is, should feel pretty natural for you. I am born on Wednesday. Um, I also, since the Sabbaths are on Mars day, now last year they were on Venus day, the Sabbaths were on Friday. So, um, being that they're on Mars day, they went from Venus day to Mars day that's uh, also very, very interesting. Um, and it also uh, aligns with the tone for this year um, being a elemental fire year because um, the elemental fire year is determined by the fact that the Mercury retrogrades are all in fire signs. So the very first Mercury retrograde that's coming up is going to actually be on April the 1st. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, this is a, this is a very fiery year. So it's no coincidence that we had so much interaction with the Mars energy via like the Cedar Bogar and all of that towards the end of the year was basically foreshadowing this Mars energy that was going to be really heavy this year. So, um, we'll have to watch how that unfolds, um, generally moving forward, right? So, um, what we're going to do, first of all, if you are used to following my channel for the lunar cycle, um, updates and what's going on, 
feel free to join us over on Telegram. That's why I will be posting all of the information. Um, as I had mentioned, we are shifting over to Telegram in general. Um, and this is just simply because I prefer to have um, something that's easy to access via the app and also on my phone where I can do meetings, hold calls, kind of all in one place instead of having to do, okay, we're going to do a Zoom call. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. I can do basically everything in one place. With Telegram, I could do it also with Discord, but there are things, a few things that I don't like about Discord. So we're going to, um, we're going to, we're going to move over to Telegram. Now, I still don't have like a membership thing um, as far as uh, payments are required. Um, I don't feel inclined to do that now. I think um, I get enough support from people when I ask. And I don't want to become a burden. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm not myself participating in um, things that are like requiring membership fees. So, for example, um, on this channel, we focus a lot on, you know, laws and rules and money and stuff like that. And so in order to facilitate that um, better for, you know, all of, you know, my, my friends and, uh, um, followers or whatever haters on this channel, um, whoever you are, um, I have actually enrolled in a program to, um, help me become more focused in how to, um, basically, uh, create wealth, right? It's, it's, it's specifically focused on wealth. Actually, it's two things that I invested in. And so um, these things do have monthly um, membership fees because, you know, they're run by men. This is how men operate, which is fine. I'm not, you know, in no way complaining about that. Um, so if um, you all, again, I'll be, of course, making my request for, um, you know, assistance throughout the um, at the start of the month, like I normally do, but since it's the start of the year, I'm, you know, making an additional request. If anybody is able to, um, you know, they have some funds, they can, they can help support, uh, what it is. One of the things was like almost a hundred dollars and other things like 15 bucks. So it's kind of like, all right, I'm going to have to really, um, you know, focus in on, um, being consistent with my request for help so that or my request for support which is really what it is so that you all can invest in me and then i can continue to invest in this education right um and of course i never do this without offering things in return so one of the things is the group that's like i just mentioned the lunar group that's going on another thing is that um we're going to start with the um financial literacy um training now this particular group is called No Money Grow Money, and it is um, members only. Meaning, you know, if you're not, if if you don't think that you're joining the group when you join my Telegram page, that is not the case. You are becoming a member, and eventually we will, you know, there'll have to be, um, you know, things that you agree to, quote unquote. Meaning, or you'll have to, you'll be issued some kind of um, document documenting your membership because whenever you deal with money um there's a possibility that people could be doing things that are nefarious and i recognize and understand that and therefore um it is going to be required i don't know exactly how i'm going to do that yet um but it's not required right now because it's going to be a small group to begin with so um we will be um including um you know, some kids that I know, uh, a young adults, young people, young teenagers or well, old teenagers, young, many adults, right. Um, it's, it's, it's including my own daughter. So the whole point of me doing this is because I need a platform to teach my own child about money. And, um, I'm making that available to everyone. So this is not like a super advanced place or whatever. This is, this is going to be basic stuff easy enough for teenagers to understand and we're going to meet twice a week 
um, and it'll be a, um, a, a call where I will um, basically kind of like put together a lesson, some main points for the first 30 minutes or so of the call. And then um, for 30 more minutes, I will take questions related to trading. Um, and we may do a separate call just for trading, but I'd like to um, just keep it together with these calls. So it's not gonna be every day, it's gonna be twice a week. So if I previously mentioned and referred to and indicated that we were gonna have a trading group, and this is the announcement of that group, it's called No Money, Grow Money. It will be in the description. It is, de it is designed for all ages, so this is not something that um, you have to necessarily just uh, do for yourself. If you know people who want to learn Forex, they want to understand money um, and how to how to actually um, create their own money um, because of what money is and what it is not, um, they're free to join this group as well. It's not going to be a religious group. We're not going to um, put any of this religious stuff in there. I want this to be fo solely focused on money um, generation. And that's so that hopefully we can reach more people in regards to that. It doesn't, you know, negate what I'm over here doing, but it does focus people into something that um, they really, really need without trying to force them into being a part of some kind of religious organization, which I don't, I don't desire. I mean, none of my stuff is religious organizations. I just happen to include everything that's a part of my life. And so hopefully people will understand that. So that's the no money, grow money group. Okay. I talked about the, um, okay. So let's talk about the, the, the tribe for a minute. Um, we are, um, ready to proceed with, um, accepting interest, people who are interested in joining, uh, becoming a member of the tribe, um, that is also another um, group on um, Telegram. And for right now, we're just taking, um, we're, we're just gonna be going over some basic stuff. So the basic stuff would be like, the basic stuff would be like, um, what is a tribe? What should you be looking for a tribe? How should you evaluate the tribe? Um, who qualifies to be in the tribe, those kind of things. Um, again, that's not going to be a religious group either. That is for people who maybe, like me, try to join other tribes and were unable to or don't know how to identify their, um, their lineage to find out what tribe they were quote-unquote from. Um, and we're going to talk about um, tribal information in general as in uh, things that are going on within um, different reporting, um, different ways to do genealogy about uh, the tribes uh, that were on this land indigenously. This is not going to be an organization that's limited to quote unquote Hebrews. It's going to be open to any person who is an indigenous person on this land or an original person on this land. And to me, that is not limited to the quote unquote Hebrews for a variety of reasons, most of which we discussed when I talked about Japheth, because a lot of these people who also consider themselves indigenous to this land were from the tribe of Japheth. And because Shem and Japheth always had connections and always worked together, um, this would be a natural alliance among people. And so, um, so it's going to be important for people to, you know, sort of be committed to doing their own genealogy, finding out where their people were from, finding out what tribes their people were mixed with and that kind of thing. That's not something that we're going to do as a part of the tribe, but we're going to quote unquote be, um, uh, the melting pot that this quote unquote country was decide was, was, um, 
not designed to be, but was has always been. We've always been a people of, of multiplicity, and we're going to continue on with that legacy. That is the goal. Um, so the tribe stuff is coming. That's going to be um, maybe once a week interest meeting until we start actually providing the services. Now, the services are going to be the same services I've been describing, meaning copywriting your name and um, learning how to um, secure your um, your title uh, and other things that are, that are related to that because the goal of the tribe is not um, to you know, be a political organization where, okay, we're going to, all right, we're going to be a voting block so that someone can come and market to us. No, this is for the purpose of securing your, um, title, um, mostly and removing it from being title, removing you from being title property of, um, a foreign invaded, uh, a foreign government, basically a foreign, foreign invaders, um, that's the point. And so those, those will have costs, you know, as we get closer to that, there will be costs associated with that. But, um, by that, by, by the time we get to that, people should be sort of prepared for that. So, but I'm going to hold interest meetings first so people can ask questions and I can give you my vision and whatever. Um, we're not going to, um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that publicly. That is come over to the group and, um, be prepared for that. I'm also, um, you know, I'm making this, these offers and these things available and open to my followers first. Um, and then I'll be going and advertising in other places and, you know, bringing other people. So, um, you guys always have first right of access to what I'm doing. Um, that's just a benefit of, you know, supporting me over here. All right. Um, I am hoping and my goal is to do a meetup this year, um, down here in Florida. Um, that's my goal. I'm putting that out there right now. So, um, I don't know how that's going to come together. I do have something in mind. It probably won't be something super, you know, super long or super crazy just because it might not be, um, practical, but, um, definitely sometime, hopefully by the, um, um, the day out of time, um, in July, I would like to do a meetup here. Um, so, so we can get together and, um, start to build, um, you know, some, some bonds in real life in the 3d world, which will help translate into, um, you know, the digital world even better. I mean, um, right. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, that's all I can think of right now. There's a lot of stuff I want to talk about and I'll come back and do a video, um, about these red heifers. Actually, I'm probably just going to do it now while I'm, um, while I'm up, uh, tell y'all about these red heifers but I did want to uh, oh and also our fasting schedule so we still going to have um the same uh fasting schedule we always do we have um the next fast is going to start in August it'll be August 2nd through the spring I mean the fall equilux or equinox um the change of season so April August 2nd through the change of seasons. And then we have a 22 day fast that we do with, um, when Saturn goes direct. And so that'll be announced later on this year. And, um, then we'll have our, um, annual, um, self-reflection fast, which is basically what the fast we just ended that will start on February 2nd and go through till the start of the new year. So that schedule is not um, it's not going to change. It's going to be our permanent fasting schedule. And so you're encouraged to do fast whenever you want. You can fast on the Sabbath if you wish. Um, however you want to do it. I'm just letting you know, this is, this is, this is what we're promoting. This is what I'm promoting. This is what I plan on doing. Um, this is what I'm committing to, to do on 
your behalf, holding a space of love and light for each and every one of you and what I'm doing for myself. Um, I do believe that's it for right now. Oh, the winner. Um, the winner for the, um, the calendar is, um, Sister Ashley. I haven't sent her a message yet, but I will. She is the winner. Um, I am going to try and do a giveaway or something like that. Uh, promotion that I'm going to run or something. Um, uh, maybe even every month just to, um, you know, give people an opportunity to, um, give me an opportunity to sew back into you all in another way. But, um, yeah, sister Ashley is the winner of the contest um, for the, um, year of the dragon calendar. I have the calendar already and I'm also going to send her some other stuff that, um, I was trying to wait for everything to come in. So I had all the stuff that I wanted to send. So, um, that will be forthcoming. Um, and I probably will be offering the, um, the soap and the, um, some anointing oil or hair oil, probably I'll just call it soon. Um, I just got to figure out, uh, what that is. I am going to do another video also on the name Marikana. I mean, I basically already alluded to it, but, um, Marikana more reflects, uh, the fact that we're from this land, we are, we are born and bred off of this land it, and that's what it represents. So it does not mean that I'm not a child of light and spirit because that is 100% the case. But this year is a year that, or at least from this point forward, I need to focus on restoration of this land. I need to put my energy into this land. And so that's why we, the tribe is the Marikana band. Um, a lot of stuff is centering around Marikana because we have to, if we want to see things change, we have to put our energy into it. And so by saying the name, we are awakening our sister so that she can recognize us and we can recognize her and we can build this relationship and also build this new, um, basically like this new pantheon of gods that are in alignment with the desires that we want. So the first thing you have to do is you have to have an origin story. Where does this thing come from? Why does this thing come from here and all that kind of stuff? So we're starting with coming from Mary Kana, you know, the goddess of Mary Kana is Mari. She's the primary goddess followed with Ka, which is Ops and Na, which is, um, um, Manu or whatever I said in the other video. But anyway, we are primarily focused around the work that has to be done, um, which is indicated by the work of Mari, uh, AKA Mary, AKA Diana, AKA Lilith, AKA whoever, whatever divine feminine you want, because they were all daughters who had an assignment to get here and do the work. And that's who we are focusing on and invoking and, um, bring it together. So that's where that comes from. I just thought I would mention that because I don't think I ever said it. Um, I think that's it. You guys, it's a lot going on. I hope that, um, this meets you all well. And of course, if you're able to support me, um, my cash app is in the description box. Um, join as many of the telegram channels as you want. We are going to start meetings next week. Um, uh, at least one meeting next week for the different groups. And then, um, we'll get on to a regular meeting schedule, which I now have to reconsider because one of my meeting days was going to be Tuesday, but, um, Tuesday is <laughs> Sabbath. So I don't want to be committing myself to anything on Sabbath. So I got to figure out how I'm going to handle that. Um, and I'll let you guys know. And it'll be also in the community post. So shalom, everyone. Be blessed.